All right, so this is exactly what I'm looking for. I need kind of a deep pool. It's got an earthworm in it, but it's a live earthworm, so that's good things. That's a good sign. But the water's flowing, um, and it's pretty clear right here. And I haven't disturbed upstream. There's nothing upstream. I walked probably 100 yards. There's nothing upstream that I know is laying dead in here, contaminating this water. But either way, I've got a nice pool here that I can fill up my water without disturbing the bottom. So uh, this grail is only 20 ounces, uh, but it's 20 ounces that I can get right now. We got some raccoon tracks down here. Uh huh. So basically, what I can do with this is take the inner sleeve off. I've got this filter system in the outer container, right? The outer container has a line on it right here. I can go ahead and fill this up. Well, when you're filling up from a stream, you don't fill up to where the opening's upstream because all the crud is going to flow right down into it. You want to fill opposite of that without disturbing the bottom. All right, so I'll just kind of tuck that in there. And granted, this is a filter that'll get it all out, but you're still clogging your filter. I get a little more in there. That's about to the line right there. Place my inner sleeve back on. Up at the top, I've got a green and a red. Red means that it's closed. I need it to be on green so that it'll vent. There we go. Place that down on the ground. Press that dude down in there. And that's forcing the water through the filter and into the inner container, which isn't contaminated. And then from there I can take this off, I can drink it straight. Straight from there. Or I can actually take this top lid off as well. And I've got the inside is full of clean water. So that is a quick 15 to 20 second way to get drinkable water on the go. Can't boil it, obviously. Uh, you can replace the filter as it wears out, so it should last you for an outing or two. Uh, but this is only 20 ounces of water, like I said, and that won't get me through the night. Uh, so I'm actually going to get some in my 32 ounce stainless steel, and I'll thermally disinfect that so I don't have to take another trip down here. Put some ash on that. I don't have to take another trip down here. Now I can use a cotton bandana to pre-filter this if I want, but this isn't really all that nasty, so I'm not going to bother with that. Looks like it's got some coffee in there still. Get that downstream. Now, same thing with the opening facing downstream. We'll go ahead and top that off. Minus the earthworms. And I can thermally disinfect that up back up at camp. I'm going to add some fuel because over here I'm not getting a lot of heat. So this heat is being transferred through this and back out the backside. And I don't want that. I'll add some fuel to the backside here.
And then just to get some sustainable coals, I put some thumb size stuff on there as well. All right, let me show you this quick. My water's already starting to boil. I'm gonna need to get it out of there. So what I do is just a simple bottle toggle. So I've got a piece of bank line, uh, just a little toggle that's that's roughly about the size of the shoulders, uh, you know, beyond the neck of your water bottle. Take me a length of cordage, and I'll just tie a clove hitch around. And if you don't know the clove hitch, that's in several of my videos, but you come around. Cross it back over, making a loop. It's basically a half hitch. Now you're creating a second half hitch by coming around the inside. And then you get your parallel wraps with your diagonal locking bar. What's a good idea to do, because you are going to put some weight on this when you put it in there, is to do an overhand stopper knot on the end of that to keep that clove hitch from pulling out when you put some weight on this. And that's all there is to it. Now you would think that you want to put this in the center, but you actually want to offset it to one side so that when you actually drop it down into a bottle, like so, as it catches on the lip, it'll cam up and catch on the other lip, and then you can take that pressure off and slide it back out, okay? So I think my water's already boiling. I'm gonna show you how to do that real quick. All right, so my water's already boiling. You can see it there. I'm just going to take my bottle toggle, drop it down in there, catch a lip, take it out of the fire, set it down somewhere where it's nice and stable, and I'll let it cool from there. Get my toggle out. Be careful, don't touch the bottle. Don't spill it, it's hot. And that's a simple bottle toggle.